Yeah, Sherry Stefan, it's banned book week according to the American Library Association, and it wasn't until this week that a video by Elizabeth Elizabeth Hatline made about banned books on a personal account last month went viral after it was reshared online. We cannot let hate win. All children deserve to see themselves represented in the books that they read. Online creator Elizabeth Hatline is back to posting on Instagram. She went dark a few days after a video she made was shared and reposted by right-wing social media account Libs of TikTok this week, which claimed she was a DeWitt public schools teacher. Hatline has not been a part of the district since 2021. In this video, Hatline featured 19 children's books that were banned last year in different places around the country. Many of them touched on LGBTQ+, topics, and diversity. After the video was reposted, DeWitt Public Schools made an announcement that it was shutting down its social media profiles because of inappropriate tagging, comments, and threats from people reacting to the video. Hatline says following the 2020 George Floyd protest, she wanted to create a community to share children book recommendations that focus on diversity, equity, and inclusion. I originally started the Facebook group so that parents and educators and caregivers could have a safe and welcoming environment to get support and to ask questions and to help others with books and with DEI efforts in books. That soon turned into her Instagram account called Raising Readers to Become Leaders, which now has more than 16,000 followers. Hatline says it has been a difficult week of facing online backlash for her posts, but says there has also been an outpouring of support. Like I can't even keep up because it's so many messages of just people who feel the same as me. Hatline tells me it's important to share stories that kids are missing out on in places where these books are barred. I fully believe that every single parent should decide what books are best for their children, but you don't get to decide what is best for other people's children. Everyone should have that choice. Hatline tells me that she will continue to do her advocacy work with other online creators in hope of creating a, quote, inclusive, safe environment. I did reach out to the social media account Libs of TikTok, but did not get a reply to any of my questions. Sherry, Siobhan.